What's up, YouTube? It is 22nd of September 2022, and I think I'm ready to bring this beast down so that I can make the appropriate changes and repairs. It's interesting to note that I almost got the tower straight by loosening, by loosening those and tightening this. Now we have the new beautiful gym pole. Yes, now we have a beautiful gym pole indeed. I uh, just want to tell you as a cause of remembrance, one of the wires has come loose and that's another reason it needs to come down. Uh, it needs to come down to test this out primarily. One of the wires had come loose. So the other day when it was making 500 watts, if it was doing that with only two wires, that is pretty impressive. I think I showed you all this. That had got welded on. That's had a coat, coat of grey paint with thinners. It looks quite nice. Uh, these can all be tightened up pretty much. I, I deliberately tighten this one all the way up to bring the tower over a little bit, which it did. If you can see, the bend is less dramatic, but it still needs to come down anyway because that's the whole point of having one with a tower like this. So I have to let off the guide wires that side first by what I've explained uh, many times, and then we'll take it down and hopefully it'll be cushy. Let's just remind ourselves that we've got the winch connected to that post. The winch is there, the long cable there, which is just how it ended up. I know it seems stupid. And the new shenanigans. So when I start the winch, the turbine should start going down, hopefully. Fingers crossed. We are getting a lot of pullover to one side, which might be a problem because I should have dealt with this before. I'll have to keep an eye on that. We'll see how it goes, but it's doing its job so far. Like I say, that'll be, that will be a big problem out the way if this works. So I shall carry on and I'll be listening out for any unusual sounds. Just to remind you, uh, this is at a bit of a weird angle and maybe better with some cutting out of the bottom here, uh, which I can do when it's down. Uh, when the tower gets lowered a bit more, actually we'll do that now. All right, the ladder's there. There's a bit of extra insurance if it comes crashing down which hopefully it won't. Best to plan for all eventualities, what, what, what. I'm English gentlemen. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's 100% scraping on there. Uh, I don't think it's gonna damage the wire just doing it once, but I could just use some collars. I could have one collar here, one collar here, and then two in the middle to keep it straight. That's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, it may only be half a degree out, but it's enough with the tension to pull it one side. But anyway, that isn't an insurmountable problem. I'm just going to keep an eye on that cable there. If it starts getting too noisy, then it means the level of friction has gone up a lot and uh, we'll have to look into it. But let's just keep going. Just show you where we're at for anyone who's interested. I do like that gym pole. I hope it works. It's so much better. Just you can see the scale of it to the actual tower. She is a beast, my friends. She is a beast. All sounds good down that end. Yes, I mean, this isn't in this position, won't be in this position very often, but it will definitely be better to make a cutout under here. So consider that to be done. I'm gonna go check. We're not going to incorrectly interact with the turbine. Like I say, I hope it's not gonna to come to that. But 
let's just crack on. We're now getting to the point where the stress is going to really start on the end down by the winch. Yeah, the, the stress is going to be on this in a big way. The further over we get, the more stress there's going to be. So I'm going to be nice and quiet and listen for any loud, unusual noises. It's looking good. I think she's going to hold. I'm just going to tension up the bottom of these three wires because I noticed it's a little bit looser and ideally we want them all at the same tension. Maybe with the exception of this one, which seems to take a lot more tension than it should. So yeah, we're, re we're getting fairly close to the maximum stress position. But it's all looking good. I just need to watch out that when I lower it down onto this bit, the blades aren't going to get involved. Uh, it's good to keep coming and checking stuff, really. Just check these wires. Uh, Got a little bit of slack in them. I'm just going to undo those uh, just in case. The reason I have to do this is because it's not perfectly central when I built it, so it adds five minutes to the taking up and putting down and is a bit of a pain, but it's all good. It's all good. Are you feeling the forces, buddy? Pretty good so far. Obviously, there's quite a lot of stress on that point at the moment, but. It remains the, about this end, the, the gin pole transferring all the stress to here. It's going to go check the position of the ladder. I won't have to do it uh, like this every time, once I know everything is fully trustworthy. So yeah, that's looking good. One thing we need to do, as I've said before, is the bend in the tower starts from about here. You can't notice it as much because under tension, I'm actually going to move the ladder. What I've actually done is I've propped the tail up so that the tail can't hit in the ground. And then we bring this down. It should be good. We've got about two feet to go. Everything seems to be holding up. It's good. It's going to be expected. I'll be very happy when it touches down. Turn my little winch. Hey. The winch didn't feel right then. It's made touchdown. Just show you that from that angle, which obviously doesn't matter once or twice, but that is, I would have to class that in the undesirable category. See where the weight's resting on there. That's how I wanted it for when I do the tower. So that's probably quite a long video anyway. Let's just have a quick look at the uh, beauty. The beauty she is. Could do with a bit of rust paint. She is a beauty, my friends. She may be rusty, but she is a beauty. So the plan is, I'll briefly explain to you everything I, I'm gonna do. I need to get rid of some of that rust. I need to use auto filler to fill in some of those. Uh, the blades, I'll have a good look at them. Uh, this all needs painting. This needs painting. I might adjust the angle at which I have the turbine via this. Uh, the bearings may need replacing eventually, but they don't need replacing now. Uh, sort out these frayed bits of wire, which look absolutely rubbish. Paint all that. Uh, check all the cables. Uh, paint that bit. And then have to make a little chop in here with a one mil grinder disc somewhere. Put some weight on here or on here so that the bits come together and then we'll sort that bend out. I'll check all these things while it's down. But that is good, very good news. That is very good news. So that's held up sweet. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Happy days. Oh, and add cutting this out to the list, which I'll get done ASAP. Sweet, see you soon.